Hey everybody, so this is going to be in a, a weird, interesting new review. Uh, this is, as the box says, a Rui Pro HK Fiber Active Optical HDMI Cable 2.1. You can see the specs. It has uh, 486 gig per second. Dang. Because it supports HDMI 2.1, eARC, uh, HDCP 1.4 through 2.3. It's got all its different nonsense there. The important stuff, gold-plated contacts, and then the A-type, male to A-type. Now, we need to make sure, of course, I'm glad they actually say this because I've seen people damage plugs not paying attention to that. So this was sent to me to try, uh, to test out, and it's kind of hard to review a cable. So I decided what we're going to do is in this video, we'll look at the cable. Then I'm going to stop the video. I'm going to go home. I'm going to hook this up. I'm going to unhook my existing 25-foot cable, and then I'll hook this one up. I'm going to run this one for a few weeks and see how it goes. And if everything works well, I'll start the video back up again, and I'll talk about how it worked for me. So first things first, let's uh, cut that little seal. Packaging is very nice. Feels like you're getting a quality product. Does have a lifetime warranty, which is good. So let's see here. Dear customer, thank you for purchasing our products. You can now enjoy Real, original, 8K, 60Hz, 4K, 120Hz, dynamic, HDR, eARC, top visual, feast. For installing the cable through a conduit or ceiling, please test the cable first. That actually makes sense. You don't want to run this in and then find out that, um, you know, your cable's bad. So, before I actually fish it through the clips and everything, I'll, uh, I'll plug it in. So then they give us some adapters here. We have a 5-volt power adapter which is pretty good. Um, sometimes you need to have that depending on your system. On my projector, I'm pretty sure I'll be fine without it, but if your TV is far, if you have, depending on your TV, monitor, display device, you may need this. This injects 5 volts into the system. So that plugs into the end of your HDMI and then the USB goes into a USB plug. Um, like, for instance, if you have a, a TV with that, that where it doesn't work, you would plug this into the TV, plug the USB into the TV, and then plug the HDMI cable in. Um, I haven't run into that myself, but I'm sure plenty of you have run into that situation. So let's move that out of the way, and let's take a look at this cable. Uh, first impressions are actually quite good. The... The insulation feels nice. It's, uh, I don't know, it feels like PVC maybe. I mean, polyvinyl chloride. Feels good. Uh, then we go to the connector. That's actually metal. So this is some kind of die cast metal. Feels like it might be magnesium or something. But it's, it's uh, well made. See? Plastic won't do that. I do wonder why they have two different colors though, that's kind of, see? And we, I guess this is directional too, I guess because that 5 volts thing, so this will go to my AVR and this will go to the projector. Let's look at the ends. Nice looking. You know, it's an HDMI cord, I'm not expecting anything too crazy. But I do like how well made these feel. And let's just use, we'll use this thing as a, just to feel how the connector feels when you plug it in. Yeah, see that feels good. You hear that? I'll try it on this one too. It just sounds solid. Almost like there's a little vacuum when you unplug it. Well made. Feels very well made. First impressions are quite good. Uh, I like how they have it wrapped up in the uh, with the zip tie things. I'm going to put those little foamies on the end, I guess, 
these keep it from rattling around inside the box, you know, so when it's in there it's not going like that, which is good. You know, these guys seem like they pay attention to the, uh, the little things, and the little things really matter. So you want to worry about that stuff. So I am going to stop the video here. I'm going to go home. I'm going to plug this in. And then uh, I will be back in a few weeks and I'll let you know how it worked. Four to six weeks later. And through the magic of video, weeks have passed. Actually, over a month, maybe a month and a half have passed. And uh, I'm here to follow up. Uh, it worked great. Um, it plugged right in. I did not, I did not need the uh, five volt adapter for my projector, so I didn't end up using it. Um, it looked great. You know, I uh, can't say I noticed any improvement over my picture. I was using a, or I, I currently I went back to the old cable. Um, the old cable is one of those flat kind so I could run it along the baseboard and up the side of the wall easier. Um, my only complaint I have with this cable, and it's really not a complaint about the cable, it's it's the, the usage. The way I have my stuff installed, having a round wire like this was kind of a pain, uh, especially with it being green, it sticks out a lot. I have white walls and the cable I have is a flat white, kind of like those uh, speaker wires that are flat, it's a flat HDMI and it's just easier to run along the baseboard and stuff. Um, it was hard, this one, you can see it's still a little twisty. I think if I had it out longer, it would have relaxed more. It did relax a bunch, but it's still a little, you know, still wants to kind of do that roll back up the way it was from the way it was packaged, but I'm sure I had it out for a couple months it would be fine so I'm not really going to hold that against it it's just an observation um, the other thing I noticed when these were plugged in they feel really good uh, when once it's plugged in it just feels good uh, I was thinking about trying to split one of these connectors open to see how these are put together like I feel like they're just snapped together but I couldn't get anything in there to really get them to move, so I didn't want to damage it because, you know, it's a 30-foot HDMI cable, so or a 10-meter, 33-feet HDMI cable, so I don't want to, you know, wreck it. I will save it. I'm sure I will have a. I actually have a TV. I might use it for. I'm still going back and forth, um, but I'll say it's a it's a good cable. Signal looked great. I didn't have any problems with HDPC content. It worked exactly the way an HDMI cable should work. I was able to send 4K video without any problem. Um, it just worked. It's a, it's a decent cable. So if, uh, if you're looking for a long HDMI cable that supports HK, 8K and has the 5 volt injection for your TV if you need it, uh, and you want one that, you know, it's built better than. I mean, personally, these are built better than uh, monster cables. I mean, honestly, a lot of stuff is made better than monster cables. But I would put this up against monster cable any day of the week. And it's probably one-tenth the price of the same thing. I'll bet you a monster cable would be, yeah, easily ten times the cost of this. Um, I'll put a link in the description down to the Amazon listing. Uh, it is not an affiliate link. It's just a standard, straight-up, normal link. I don't make any money off it. I don't make any money off this video. This is purely a review to show you this uh, Rio, Rui Pro, Rui, R -U -I, Rui Pro HDMI cable. So if you have any questions, comments, anything to add, uh, maybe you own one of these cables and you had something different happen with it, Go ahead and stick it down in the comments. Um, I will leave, like I said, a link down there. Um, so go ahead and click on that if you need one of these. And uh, if you got all the way to the end of the video, thinking about hitting that subscribe button doesn't cost you anything and it really helps me out. So, as always, thanks for watching.